Good morning, y'all. What a crazy weekend, huh? I just thought I'd do a quick video. I had so many things that was going through my mind I wanted to talk about, and then I I went blank when I walked out. <clears throat> um, today is my son's 22nd birthday. Um, it, I'm, I don't know how, I, I miss my kids being little so bad, so bad. I just, I miss it. I miss them depending on me for everything. Um, and there's something, it's, you know, not to take away from my girls, because y'all know how much I love them, love my kids, but there's just something about a boy that is special. I don't, I don't know what it is, but, you know, he, I, I don't know. He, um, I'm going to brag on him just a second. He just finished school, and he graduated number one in his class. Um, and it's lumber grading school, which is country as it gets, I guess. But that's what, you know, like I've told y'all before, that's what we are of a family of sawmillers. So, I'm pretty proud of him. And in my eyes, he's perfect. Um, well, I think in everybody's eyes, he's perfect. But, um, let me fix my eyebrow there. Um, I think, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about mental illness. Because I, I really went into a deep, I guess, funk over the last two days. Didn't enjoy Memorial Day. Didn't. And, um, you know, that's, it's just part of it. And, uh, you know, it seems like... A lot of us, a lot of people with mental illness do have addiction problems. I'm starting to see that. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I've learned that before. I just, maybe I just hadn't thought about it in a long time. Um, but I've always suffered with depression and um, since I was a kid. And so I, that's, you know, something I'll get a little bit personal. Um, you know, I told y'all my nanny raised me. Uh my mom committed suicide when I was one. And so that's when somebody might says, I know what I gotta do, and they do it publicly, or they want, I don't, I don't know if you'd say sympathy. And when they do it to attract attention, it kinda, it makes me mad because, in, I mean, as most people know, people that kill themselves they don't tell anybody they don't talk about it they just usually just stay with they may talk about it a little bit but you know and I know they say a suicide attempt is is a reach for help and you know but I just have issues with it with when somebody talks about it um because you know that again like I said that's how my mom died and when my mom done it she had a one-year-old, which was me, and a four-year-old, which was my sister. Well, she, JoJo was almost five. And we were there when she done it. Um, I don't, of course, I don't remember it. Um, so this isn't a, a pity video because, I, I, I mean, I don't remember her at all. You know, when you're one, you, don't, you just don't remember, and you don't miss what you never had. I always had my nanny. Um, but, you know, there is a part of you that always feels like, why weren't, why weren't, why wasn't me and JoJo good enough to keep you alive? And then you have, then I have these thoughts that I get it. You know, I have days, there's a difference between having suicidal thoughts and being suicidal. And I think that is something else that needs to be put out there. You can I, you know, there's days where I sit here, I would never kill myself, but there are days where I think, what am I contributing? Would this world be better off without me? Would anybody miss me? You know, when if I answer those questions with with my right mind, yes, my, my husband would miss me, my kids would miss me, but my sick mind tells me, you're a burden, you know, and let's talk about going off meds. I do it myself. And people think that we go off meds because we don't think we deserve to feel better. And that's not why. You go off your medicine because you do feel better. And then you tell yourself, well, I, didn't need, I don't need these anymore. And it's a cycle. Um, now, 
I have not repeated that cycle in a long time because I get it. You know, I gotta have my antidepressant every day and it does not work 100%, but it does help. Um, so, you know, if you're out there and you're struggling, you're not alone. It, it was, so many people deal with it. Um, I, I love to hear people's stories about it because it makes me feel not so crazy. I like to hear real, real stories, not the fake ones for pity. Because I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because my mom killed herself. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because I suffer with depression. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because I'm an addict. Because I got to do something with that or I'm worthless. I, I, I'm here for a reason. We all are. Even the people we don't like, they're here for a reason. So, um... You know, I, I, my, my mom is is buried right there with my nanny, and I don't, you know, it's, it's hard for me to to talk to say. I don't like the word cemetery, and I don't like the word G R A V E. I can't even say it. Um, I try to keep keep their resting places pretty, and sometimes I I will go out there and show y'all. Um, Cause it's it's special to me um it's not that far away from where we live but uh you know that's just part of my my life and so um somebody can obviously you know use it against me i guess like they have others but that that's okay too if that's what you feel like you need to do um i just want people to know they're not alone we've yeah, you, you know, in the back of my head, sometimes I think, why wasn't I good enough to save her? Why didn't she want me enough? And then there's times I sit and I get it. I think, oh, well, you know, heaven would be better. But then I also believe the Bible, so I don't know. I'm all over the place. But um, so here I am all getting deep and sentimental on my son's birthday, but it is what it is. Um, is that a famous quote? Hmm. But, um, I gotta go to work. I'm not looking forward to it. This was the fastest two days off I think I've ever had. But, um, everybody have a great day. I'm not sad. I'm just not really smiling because it's hard to smile when you, when you talk about that stuff. Um, but that, like, you know, like I told you, that's part of, that's part of me. It's part of my story. That's what happened to my mom. And someday, very soon, we'll get into how my dad died. Because it's, it's another story. It's crazy. But, um, so, we all have stories. Let me hear y'all's. If you don't make videos, that's fine. Um, I noticed this morning I'm almost up to 300 subscribers. God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Um... You know, and let me know, and I will, I'll subscribe back, make some videos, let me know about your life, because I think we should, you know, have some fun, and, and let's, let's let each other in some. Y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all soon.